Hello, and welcome to another session of Anderson County Serves Here. I'm Carol Burdett, CEO of United Way of Anderson County, and it is always a pleasure for me to tell you more about how people are serving in Anderson County. Today, we're going to be talking about another part of how United Way serves in the community, and it's really kind of selfish. United Way has been around for a little over 75 years now, and if we continue to rely on our volunteers of the past, we will not have the leverage we need to be an organization that thrives into the future. So about three years ago, we determined that having a Young Philanthropist Academy would be a wonderful way of bringing young professionals to the table and helping them understand the value of the nonprofit community and understanding how they fit into the picture of ensuring that nonprofits are going to be around to serve people as they get into their middle and later professional life. So with the Young Philanthropist Academy, what happens is we have about 20 young professionals that come in and they go and serve at various nonprofits and obviously we want them to learn about philanthropy. It's about service to the community through our time, our talents, and our treasure. So over the three years, we've had great young professionals that have joined us at the academy. And I think they've all learned a great deal about Anderson County and how many ways there are to serve. But this year, our young philanthropist class decided that they wanted to do a gala. They wanted to bring young professionals from the community together to have a lot of fun, but they also are doing it to raise money. And this is going to go to help a need that we have, and that is water safety. Now, I'm not going to steal the thunder of those that are working on it, but I will tell you that we are delighted that we have had sponsors sponsors like Anderson County and others that are putting in dollars to ensure that our children are going to be safe. That's what this gala is all about. But we're also pleased that the young pros at AMED Health are partnering with the young philanthropists to make this a reality. Again, United Way wants to serve for years to come, but we can only do that when we bring our youth and our young professionals to the table, setting them up to understand the value of United Way for years to come. So my name is Grayson Smith. Um, I'm currently working at Anmed Health. Been there for about six years now. Um, I cer currently serve as chair for the Young Philanthropists at United Way and also a chair for Young Pros at Anmed. Um, so. I was in the current um, or this past class of young philanthropists with United Way. It was a great opportunity to get involved with the community. Uh, lots of, uh, we, like Carol said, we had about 20 young folks going through uh, this program and got really plugged in to doing different community service projects and serving the community in various ways. Young Pros at Anmed Health is a resource group where um, we really focus on getting employees engaged with not only the organization but also engaged with the community. We have somewhere around 30 to 40 um, members in our Young Pros at Anmed Health and we just really felt like this was a good opportunity for the two Young Pros and Young Philanthropists to come together, partner together, and make something happen in, in the community. I think the Young Philanthropist Academy was kind of an eye-opening for me as far as kind of needs in the community. We picked Safe Kids uh, Water Safety Program because uh, we really wanted to serve that population. It, it's a great need in the community to, um, to provide those life jackets for those kids. So we decided to do uh, the gala, the Young Professionals Gala. It's very a, a kind of a new idea to the community as far as a focus on young professionals um, raising money for a specific organization. The gala brought together lots of young professionals in the community and 
we were able to focus on a common goal, a common cause to help serve the community better. So if someone would like to get involved with the United Way or United Way Young Philanthropists, feel free to reach out to United Way Anderson County, um, Britton Rogers, or Carol Burdett. Um, either one of those would be able to put, point you in the right direction. Well, my name is Jackie McCall, and I'm the Injury Prevention Coordinator at AnMed Health, and I also coordinate the Safe Kids Anderson County programs. AnMed Health is actually the lead organization for Safe Kids Anderson County. Um, they have been since 1999. I am coming up on my 22nd year at AnMed Health this December. So the Life Jacket Loaner program started back in the mid-2000s. Um, we actually saw a need on Lake Hartwell. Um, there were, it was maybe 20, 2010 or 2011, we actually had 10 drownings between Lake Hartwell and Lake Kiwi all in the span of a week. And we realized that there were no, you know, just readily available life jackets. So Safe Kids Anderson County teamed up with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or partnered up with the Corps of Engineers and we started building life jacket loaner stations. And so at the time, we set out to build eight life jacket loaner stations um, wherein people could just, you know, at certain boat ramps, you know, more of the heavily visited boat ramps um, could go out and really just if they were getting ready to load and they needed some extra life jackets, they could borrow. Um, of course, we do have a lot that do not get returned, but then in my mind, I think, what else are we going to do with those life jackets other than use them, hopefully. So, um, and then we also have seven campgrounds that do loaner stations. Um, now, at the campgrounds, you know, we can provide uh, the PFD3, which is more of the vested life jacket, because in a lot of cases, you know, they might be able to scan that driver's license to try to get that product returned. But um, it's really, you know, we'd like to think it's cut back on the drownings and stuff on Lake Hartwell. Um, since that time, that program has become more self-sufficient, which is wonderful. Um, the Lake, Lake Hartwell actually has an HOA group that now will help to provide those life jackets annually. So that's been wonderful. Plus, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been able to work that into their budget. So that's been great. Um, our hope with this, um, I was really uh, extremely grateful when um, Grayson reached out and asked about some of the various Safe Kids programs and just asked me for some explanations of different things that we did. And they chose the water safety program to fund. What we really want to see here is a life jacket loaner station at Anderson Beach at Darwin Wright Park. Um, at any time during the summer when you go by there, that place is just slammed with families and children and it is city owned, so we're really hoping to get a life jacket loaner station built there, um, and that's something that this gala is gonna help provide for. So it's gonna provide building materials, it's gonna provide the time for these young people to come out and be able to help to um, build this life jacket loaner station, and then it's gonna fund life jackets, not just for this year, but potentially years to come. Safe Kids has a South Carolina organization also, and so we have spread throughout South Carolina, so we have lakes all over the state. They're big wooden board stations. They normally will tell you how to fit for a life jacket and stuff, and then the life jackets are just readily available, and you just pull them off the pegs, you find the one that fits you properly, and you use it. Because families in Anderson County have lost children to drowning, this particular uh, event and the cause for the event is so close and dear to so many people's hearts because in uh, no family ever recovers from the loss of a child uh, to drowning. And so United Way is so pleased to be joining uh, with our YP Academy and with the young pros at AMED Health to provide funding for such a needed cause. But we could not do it without the help of our sponsors. And our sponsors are uh, Anderson County, the YMCA, Community First Bank, Sync MD, Anderson University, Marshall and Jennifer Metters, and Morgan Cutts. We are so thankful that these folks have stepped up along with our ticket sales, all of the money going toward the hope that we will save a child's life. United Way does so many things in the community, but this summer we launched 
Camp I Rock. I always like to say it's little I, big R, I Rock. And that is a summer reading camp. And as a part of that summer reading camp, the afternoon is all about fun. Because we want children to know that reading is fun. And it's not a punishment that they are going to summer school. It's that they have an opportunity to learn more about reading, but have lots of fun. And part of that fun has to do with swimming. And we've had children in Camp I Rock that have never been in a swimming pool. And therefore, the swim lessons become so important to the process. So they're learning to read, and they're learning to swim. What a great combination. <laughs>